Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of writing problems for equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to find a situation here best represented by, we've got this inequality, x over 12 is greater than or equal to 7. So I've got Emily, and she's doing some stuff with books and crowns and juice and cookies. And all of them look like we've got 12 right there. And I see a 7 in each of these. All right, so we're not going to be able to just easily say, oh, this doesn't include the correct number. They're all going to include 12 and 7 and x. All right, so let's get cracking. Let's look what f says. Emily divided x crayons into 12 boxes. Okay, so x crayons. Now, uh, we could say this, right? x was divided by 12. But remember, we also learn that we can represent uh, division here by a fraction, because remember, a fraction is just another way to show division. So I'm going to show it this way to kind of match what we have up here. x over 12. A fraction is just a division problem that you haven't finished yet. So x over 12, so that's, the, that's good so far. And there were at most seven crayons in a box. Okay, so there's my seven. So each of these is going to be my box, okay? So there were at most seven crayons in a box. So it means there can be seven, seven crayons in a box. There can be less than seven crayons in a box. There can be six crayons in a box, but there can't be eight. So I'm going to do this less than or equal to. Uh, and it's, as you can see, it's the wrong inequality. It's close, though. Um, so if, we're, if we can find something similar to that, because it says there were at most seven crayons in a box, so as long as the x over 12 is less than or equal to seven, we're good, and that's going to meet this right here. So that's not it, but we're close except for that inequality. Um, G, Emily separated x books on 12 shelves, and there were more than seven books on each uh, shelf. So it looks like we've got x books doesn't necessarily say divided, but if we're going to separate them onto 12 equal groups, that's also going to be a division right there. And there were more than seven books on a shelf. Okay, so we've got greater than, that more than is going to be greater than. And it doesn't say um, that it's equal to. It has to be more than seven. So we've we're close. Once again, it's at least a greater than, but it doesn't say that there could be seven. It says there were more than seven. Um, you know, so we're close than that. We're close, but still not quite there. H. Emily poured X ounces of juice into 12 cups. Once again, we're dealing with equal groups, so it looks like we're all just going to start with this X over 12 here. And, and each cup had no less than seven ounces. Okay. So uh, no less than, so it, it's going to be greater than 7. But if it says no less than 7, that means it can equal 7. It can be 7, it just can't be less than 7. Hey, look at that, that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, so H is looking pretty good. J, Emily shared X cookies among 12, okay. We've been doing this for a while now. Each person received less than seven okay well we're just going to do straight this right here and they just give it to you less than seven so look we've got each of the four inequalities we've got uh, these two are going to be your greater than but one is greater than and equal to which is what we're looking for and then we've got these two are going to be your less than and the f is going to be less than or equal to so that's got a little bit of symmetry here and our answer is going to be h